Caleb Burns, and this is my demonstration speech. Have you ever been playing tennis and your tennis racket has just suddenly slipped out of your hand? This could be because of an old grip on your tennis racket. An old grip can be replaced with a new overgrip in a very short amount of time, and it only costs a dollar or two. A new overgrip can also have a tremendous impact on your performance in a tennis game. There are three basic steps in installing a new overgrip on your tennis racket. These three steps are preparing your overgrip for your tennis racket, installing your overgrip on your tennis racket, and sealing up your overgrip to your tennis racket. I was taught this method of applying an overgrip by my tennis coach in Vidio, Texas of my sophomore year at high school. I've used this method of putting on a new overgrip since I've started tennis. First step in installing an overgrip on your tennis racket is to prepare your overgrip for your tennis racket. Overgrips come, they come wound up with a piece of tape and the overgrip itself. First, you will always want to make sure that your old overgrip is already off the racket, which I already have done. This is a base grip on my tennis racket. An overgrip should always be placed over a base grip because it will give it the right amount of thickness for the handle of your racket. That way you don't injure your hand. Next, you want to unroll your overgrip and peel off the transparent plastic covering on the outside surface of the overgrip. It just peels right off. And then next, peel off the small sticky tab on the end of the tapered, on the tapered end of the overgrip. It just sticks on. And now your overgrip is ready to go. And lastly, you want to peel the piece of tape that is included with your racket. You want to unroll it and set it on the table. That way you can go and finish up your grip when you're ready. All right. Now your overgrip has been prepped for your racket, it is time to start applying it to your racket. Secondly, you're going to apply your grip to the racket. Start out with holding your racket with your left hand if you're right-handed, so you hold it with your left hand, with the bottom of the racket pointing straight up. You want to place the non-tapered end of the overgrip on the end of the racket because it sticks to it. So right there on the edge. And then you're going to complete one, you're going to put one complete wrap around the racket to keep it secure. Just like this. You're going to hold it with your left thumb. While holding the overgrip against your racket, you want to angle it slightly upwards towards the handle. That way it'll get the angle like it's supposed to. While still holding the end, do one complete wrap. All right, there you go. Cool. That's the start to your grip. Now you want to wrap the overgrip by holding the racket with your left hand and turning it, while still keeping slight pressure on the overgrip with your left hand. You want to angle each wrap so that it will overlap the previous wrap by approximately a quarter of an inch. You're just going to go all the way down the racket. the end of the racket, you have almost installed your overgrip. Now we move on to the final step. Third, you are ready to tape up your overgrip. When you have wrapped your overgrip to the top of the base grip, use your thumb to hold down the access while you get your tape. While holding the grip down at the top, you secure the excess grip with the tape around the top. After you've prepared your overgrip, installed your overgrip, and sealed your overgrip to your tennis racket, you've successfully installed a new overgrip on your tennis racket. In conclusion, putting on a new overgrip involves only three simple steps. Preparing your overgrip, installing your overgrip, and sealing your overgrip. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Now you will not have to worry about losing your grip on your tennis racket while playing tennis.